Welcome back, guys. So, yes, this is another Retro Fighters video, but this is a good one. Come on now. I'm not criticizing anybody here. Not, not anything. We've already gone through all that. I've already, you know, addressed some of my issues. And they are fixing, um, you know, the, the problem that I had with the L button and analog stick, like many others had pointed out. Some people didn't bother, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this is to let you guys know who are interested that the transparent colors, the fantastic colors, if you will, for the Brawler 64, the next gen Nintendo 64 controller, the Kickstarter is going live tomorrow. So just looking at the um, the draft here, they, you know, they've got a little video going on, a little. Uh, Oh, 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 let's lower that down. Let's lower that down. Retro Fighters, next generation. Of, I always like their little 8-bit uh, looking character dudes. So here, we'll peep this out. Dual triggers, turbo functionality, modern analog stick. I actually really like the analog stick. That's, that's the one thing that's hard for me to go back on. And these transparent colors, I'm going to tell you right now. Ooh, wee! That green one, because my Nintendo 64 is green. That's just, that's speaking out to me, man. It's really speaking out to me. That's, that's talking to me here. So, select your, oh, okay. So each guy's reminiscent of a color of uh, the controller. There we go. There we go. That's pretty sweet. So this is going live tomorrow. Um, let's go over this real quick. So they kind of talk about, you know, the first controller. Um, boom, here it is. Modern take on the Nintendo 64 controller. Um, estimated delivery. They're showing, uh, you know, October-ish, um, but we'll get more into that in a moment here. But there is going to be a pledge to get one, a pledge to get two. So instead of, like, having to make a note, which I'm sure, you know, might have been kind of annoying for them to deal with the first time around. I'm not exactly sure how, you know, you compile all your information from Kickstarter, but essentially with the first Kickstarter, you just added additional pledge to it and then told them like hey I wanted two controllers so I'm sure that was kind of probably annoying to have to deal with so they they changed that up and there's an actual pledge for two controllers um, and one for three that's nice so you're getting a little discount if you get three pledge a hundred or more you get four. Oh, that's that's so that's a good deal that's that's the better deal right there if you want if you want some four-player Mario Kart Pledge 125 and you get the whole collection. Ooh, you get one purple, green, blue, red, and orange. And a limited edition poster. Have your name listed in the manual. Hmm. So, so you guys already know the controller. We don't need to read what the controller features. Due to many requests for making the, the fantastic transparency, transparent controllers. And then they got this green one. The second I saw that, I'm like, man... That matches my my Nintendo 64. Damn it. Damn it, Retro Fighters. Damn it. But they show some of the internals, the buttons, you know, the stuff that they're using. They go over some of the controller features, dual Z, sensitivity, sensitivity adjusted analog stick, comfortable and responsive D-pad, two-handle design, larger C buttons, perfect for fighting games, which yes, that's that's true. Ergonomically positioned B and A. I have no issue um, with the positioning and the size of any of these buttons or the analog stick. Those are the biggest pros for me uh, with the original version, especially the analog. I really liked it. Um, you know, some people might have you know been more used to the original Nintendo 64 controller, but like I said, once I got used to this thing. Um, even though I did have issues with the original version, which is being addressed, mind you, uh, and these these new versions will have uh, the the you know they'll be 100% functioning and, and proper, so no no issue there. Um, but once I got used to that analog stick on this controller, and then I swapped back to the original Nintendo 64 controller, I'm like, oh man, this analog sucks on the, the original controller, man. So yeah, you know, just just giving you guys a little heads up. You got all these cool looking colors, uh, you know, and then you know they explain why Kickstarter, and I already kind of you know 
had some discussion about, you know, the reasoning behind this. And, you know, they, they have to remold and, and do all that and the, the minimum amount of materials to be built. So they, they, have to, they have to have a minimum order for each color and all that kind of stuff. I mean, there's a lot more to it, but that's really why they're going to Kickstarter. Very small company. They, they don't just have a stockpile of money. You know, they don't have a bunch of gold coins in a vault that they swim in that they can throw around to just produce controllers. So that's, that's why they go to this, you know. Um, to, to get the, you know, the backing they need to get these products out there. So they do have their timeline here. March is when they're launching. So tomorrow, April, May, final, uh, finalize tooling on the colored shells. Get colors just right. And then June, start the mass production. And then September, receive goods, start shipping. So that's why the uh, October time frame comes up. I, I, have an, I have a thought that possibly they'll be able to get these out to us sooner, but I don't want to say for sure. It's just kind of my thought that we, we might be able to see them by September, maybe a little earlier, but I think to play it safe, they're, they're saying the estimate's October, which is fine. I mean, that's right around the corner when you really think about it. So here's the goals, 30,000, goal funded. That's what they need, 30,000 to fund the goal. 100,000, Retro Fighters jab character keychain included. Huh. 200 limited edition Ultra 64 themed controller. What? Where's a picture of the Ultra 64 themed controller? I gotta see that. What? I wonder how that's gonna work. Huh. Very interesting. Limited edition Ultra 64 themed controller. How is that gonna work? Is it like if they get to 200K, which they probably will, we can select from that or is that going to be an additional cost that's something i want to know i don't i'm i'm intrigued by that limited edition ultra 64 themed controller hmm well guys i just wanted to share this with you give you a heads up that this kickstarter will be going live tomorrow and if you want to jump in on it and get in on it early that's that's when you got to do it so Appreciate you guys, guys, girls, and whatever's stopping in, peeping this out. Smash that like button, subscribe, do all that cool stuff, and I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Boom.